Get ready to master the art of creating a high converting landing page in GetResponse. In just a few steps, you will create a beautiful landing page that doesn't require any technical knowledge. Sounds good to you? Let's do it. All right, folks, so now we are in GetResponse's dashboards. And the first thing that we have to do over here is to go to the tools and click on landing pages. This will take you directly uh, to this page where you will see your landing pages. And if you were an older client of GetResponse, you would see the legacy landing pages. But if you now click to create, it will take you to the new ones. And if you are a new customer, you will go directly to the new ones. So let's just click on here. And the first thing that we will do will be then to create uh, this landing page to click and we will start with a template. You will see that these templates, they look really great and you will certainly find something that will work for you. And one of the things that you can have a look here is that you can choose based on your type of business, right? So you will see some industries over here, hobbies, health, games, many things that you can find. And also you could start from a blank template. For our scenario, we will actually go to a pre-designed template and we will select uh, online communities over here because we will be running a webinar for email marketers. So it will be a masterclass. And as you can see, these templates, they look gorgeous. And we will preview just for you to have a look in case you decide to use or to not use. And then we would just click to use the template. All right, so now we are within the editor and what we need here is for you to first understand how this editor works. So first of all, it's a drag and drop editor. So we can go to this plus over here on the right and drag any element. So this is just a test for you to see uh, that we could add, for example, a picture just like that. Obviously we are not adding this one, uh, but so that you get uh, the main point of this editor that is very easy uh, drag and drop editor. But starting from the top, you have manage pages and here you will see that you have start and as this is a landing page, you only have one page, right? But then you have thank you page. So when someone signs up through your form, they will go to the thank you page and you can always select something else here. Uh, and on every page, you can go through the settings. And these settings have SEO. You can optimize over here and write description and title that will help you get seen in Google and so on. You can also add a social media image here. So when you post in Instagram or Facebook, uh, this is the thumbnail that would appear, whatever we actually upload in this image. And now, now get to getting to business. We are running uh, an email marketing uh, masterclass think masterclass here and as you can see the first thing that I did was that I just clicked on the block the text block over here and I could just uh, start writing so it's something very simple and then on the right when you click on every block you will be able to to then adjust you can adjust the font size over here and uh, even make it bold and it's actually great here that we, that we are using a gradient uh, for the font color. So that's something really innovative that we can do right now in this editor. You can also use a solid color if you wish so. But the basic here is that you click on a block and all the settings of this block will be on the right side. Now, something else that we would need uh, would be a form. So I will actually go ahead to add elements and I will add a sign up form. So we want people to sign up to our webinar. And this will be where we add this form. So you will notice that you will have a contact form and a sign up form. And the difference is that the contact one is simply for people to contact you. So they will send you a message and you would then be able to see it. While the sign up form, they will then join uh, your uh, list, your contact list, and you can then send them emails. And that's the whole point. Uh, of this webinar too because we want the contact of these people and we want to send them messages so let's pick one over here and once again like i mentioned we click on the block and you will see that we can start editing and let me show you a few things that we can do to actually make it look better so if we go to design over here and button first thing that comes out to me here is that we should 
make this button aligned so it should be in the middle in my opinion and then uh, you can also change the style we won't be doing that but we can go to advanced settings and increase the font size so let's do it like 20 26 over here sounds like a good one and now we go back and let's go to the labels so i don't want the labels to be on top i will want them to be inside so that's how i want it to look and one more thing over here would be let's see the fields all good if you actually only want the email you could remove this field by clicking on the x over here and now we will jump to the block settings so this is the whole block itself so the color of the background and so on and actually i would like this to be transparent and the reason for that is that i will i'll go to design fields and change the color of these fields so let's actually try to make this white go over here so that people can see it and i can see that it is a bit transparent so let's try to make it a bit less and transparency is on this one over here so you can see that i'm dragging that it's getting transparent or not and then we just go forward and then you have full white over here so that people can see once they enter our page i will also drag this clock here to the top so that people can uh, can see how long it's left from here and another thing that i'm going to do is to get rid of this spacer so we can delete and we can align this text all right so now when someone arrives here they will know that we are running an email marketing masterclass and they will see that where they can sign up and then this would be more information about this masterclass as well as you can see it actually looks uh, beautiful and i think something is missing here at least uh, from my perspective and we could add a page with speakers so let's go to add elements just drag and drop it here and then we will pick uh, something from here already and what we want will actually be two images so we will want for example so this would be just an example and you will see that you can select many images and just to let you know you could go to one splash over here and for example let's say we are searching for a man in glasses and we will pick this one over here just as a test and for now we won't do anything and we can then add another picture so we will have two speakers in this webinar and this will be a woman in glasses so they will pair up to run this uh, email marketing masterclass and well we can select over here and now we have both but we need to make a few adjustments so another thing that we want to do would actually be to give their, them names so I would actually add this below each of them so a title and then a short int introduction about each and you will see that this will start looking better uh, very soon let's go here this should be on your title and then what we will do will be actually to fix the images and that's the funny part here is that we just go to edit we click on the image and we will see that this image can actually be adjusted so what we will do we'll drag these corners and over here as well and just just save you will see it will become huge now because the image was uh, compressed and what we will do right after will be to to change the resolution it will be something very easy so when we go to block settings uh, actually image window settings over here and we can for example have 600 by 595 just an example and we will do the same with higher All right, so now we have both over here. And if you want to make it a little, um, 
add some spice over here, right? So you can even share this their social media. So if we go to the icons, I was actually duplicating what we have at the bottom, but to actually let you know, uh, you can add the social media icons directly here. And they have a proper styling too. You can select different colors even, you can do that. And then we could duplicate and save it over here. And let's say now that you actually, like these speakers, they give a lot of webinars and you would actually build a landing page for them uh, a few times, even if it's a different topic. So what you could do would then be to save this block, so this whole section, clicking over here and then giving it a name, speakers. This simply means that on the next page, landing page that you create, you will be able to just reuse this block. This will save you tons of time just going to my blocks over here and then just dragging and dropping. And as you can see, I already have a few. And now a very important thing that actually I'm leaving to the end just for you to understand how this editor works. So on the right, we have something called global design. And as the name suggests, it will influence everything on this landing page. So max content width, so you can actually do that like depending on to which devices you are targeting right and by default we have uh, 1180 but you can always change that so we can reset reset to default language over here at the top do not get fooled uh, your whole website won't get translated but this is very important because if you are writing in a different language what this will do is this will change uh, the error messages or anything that belongs to the website itself uh, that you cannot change. For example, even timer, uh, the timer, the names over here will be changing. So important to keep that in mind uh, when selecting the language. And then you have the color palette and you can change the background, text color, button colors. All right, so if I change the text color over here, you can see that I can go to green. This is also connected to other things in the landing page and you can read directly what's connected over here. So accent color is typically used as background. So there are many things that you can do here, but for now, let's just reset. So that's a, an easy way for you to configure. And also you can change the topography, type of buttons. So if we have a look, this will change the style of the button. And then you can exploit by going over here and going through. Now, something that's important over here and I definitely recommend you using is that you could set up a pop-up over here. So if we drag and drop a pop-up from this side, you will see that you can start dragging things. And what we want people to do is to subscribe. So what we could try as well here is when they are exiting your landing page, something could pop for them to subscribe. So let's select this. And just as an example, we can then have a title. Add some text over here. It can be just, just as a text. Uh, don't miss this webinar. And then that will be the sign up. And we can, uh, similarly to what we did uh, Above, we can always be changing these things over here and now if I want to change the block itself I would give it some color too so I will go to block settings over here perhaps we can have a gradient so we already have the colors over here and we can do something like that so this one would be this or more of a blue and this other one would be more pink so that we would have our gradients like that so that's how you would do that and we could just All right, now we are adjusting the top parts and we, we could just do the same gradient that we did before for the text. So you just have, you would just have to copy uh, what we had before. Just the fields and they would be exactly the same. If 
if we want to do it like that. And even if we would like to highlight this, we could do something like that. And now what I want to show you is how you can edit this pop-up itself. So we will go to manage pages and you will see that your pop-up is here. So let's actually go here to the three vertical dots, click to edit and the display and position uh, is what we will care right now. So position, I would like it to display on the top left, on the bottom left, I mean, and then display I would like it to appear on exit so when someone is trying to exit your landing page this would pop and we don't need a delay and this should appear uh, well every session so every time uh, someone enters the first time with their browser that's how it would behave then you can always adjust the settings here for us now this is a ready landing page and what we need to do is now to preview so let's see how this looks all right, so we can do that. It's looking great on desktop. And now we can actually check the mobile version too. So you can see that this double last, uh, it should be reduced. And now it's looking much better. So we can always adjust, as you can see, and this will adjust for mobile. Then once we are ready, we can exit the preview. All right. Now we have a page and what we need to do is to go forward on continue and we should give this page a name. And here we will give it email marketing masterclass and then, and then select our list. So this will be actually our masterclass over here and if we don't have a specific list for that you could always create for now i will add mine to list a and then i also want to send an opt-in confirmation email so this means when they sign up they need to actually confirm so i suggest you doing that as it will help you and filter some bots too and then what we have to do will just be to continue you will then see a page uh, with your with your domain here you can configure the domain in this page so if you already have your own you can just add it if not uh, you can just use one that we have from get response this is free and then you just click publish once you have that then your page can be accessed all right so now that you have your landing page created what we will do is just to show you quickly how to check your stats right so you would just click on your landing page and you would go over here to just get an overview of your statistics. So performance and, and, and performance and traffic, devices. So this, you could see a mobile desktop over here, you could see location of people, click tracking, and, you, and the performance of your forms and pop-ups. And that's it, folks. That's how you create a landing page from scratch. We can use uh, templates to make our job much easier and they are really professionally de designed and everybody should start using them this way as you will just not spend as much time in in this phase as I read someone already did that for you. So make sure you check our landing pages and I wish you a great day.